Hi everyone, I'm Ross. Welcome to another Joe's Bikes video. This one's a bit different to what we'd normally do, as the footage is actually 12 years old and shows Joe, my dad, doing something he wanted to do for quite a long time, and that was completing Land's End to John O'Groats as quickly as he possibly could. So, this was one of your, well, one of your biggest challenges really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a big challenge. Uh, a thousand miles, uh, try and get it done over a weekend or a long weekend. Um, with the help of Roy and Carl uh, in the van, with all my backup equipment, yeah, it's quite a nice journey and it showed they had a lot of fun along the way too. Twenty first. Go for it, you. Non-stop. I always wondered what you were like thinking as you set off and like how you're feeling about the whole journey. Well, I always wanted to do it, and uh, somebody giving you enough time to ride your bike for as long as you want is fantastic, anyway. But in this instance, it just happened that uh, I got quite wet. Not nice weather at all. Bless it. Lights are looking better. Lights are better. Oh, mate. Oh, say, gone. 250 miles a day. That way, Scotland. Joe's on the road. Started off in the morning after the breakdown, and um, we had one more four stop, but we're back on mission now. Are we, Carl? Yes, we are. <laughs> Approaching Wolverhampton. Oh, look, they have a McDonald's. Go on, man. We need a garage as well to get a stamp. So, uh, what were Carl on about with the stamp? Well, the stamp is just a, a verification for people who have a rubber stamp along the way. So you'd stop at shops or petrol stations and get a, a booklet stamped to prove that you'd been in a certain place at a certain time. Mostly stretching. We're in a place called uh, Holmes Chapel. Yeah, just on a, a rest and a stretch in the van. Well, I um, fixed his bike, this one, old Cannondale. And just take a look. Along the Manchester Ship Canal. So this is what that same Cannondale looks like now today. It's uh, got a few replacement parts, but for the most of it, it's uh, still the same as what it was in 2008. points. Well 
Welcome to Moffat. So you uh, actually seem to know quite a few people along your way, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't really know uh, that I was going to see any of these people. There were just uh, a load of coincidences happened. Seeing Mark in Scotland, uh, he's he, I grew up with him and he moved up to Scotland to live there permanently. I also saw Michael Bonney on his motorbike in Carlisle and uh, uh, a lad that I know called Bob, a policeman, I cycled to work with him in Cornwall uh, for a, a bit of the journey. Just a coincidence, really. Morning! It's wrong, mate. Sign's wrong. Don't, don't look at sign. Don't look at sign. So uh, this were another bit where Carl and Roy were trying to keep themselves entertained, really, then, wasn't it? Yeah, they seem to do that a lot along the way. Um, it would either be messing about with uh, drawing eyebrows on themselves and coming past us, or, you know, various different things. But just before this, they uh, told me that I only had 90-odd miles to go. And then I come around the corner, and of course there's 114 miles on the sign, and they thought they'd have a bit of a laugh. To the end of the road. Johnny Groats. There goes Joe. We've got 50 miles left, and he's got um, all of that to uh, go up, up to there. He's gonna love this one a lot. Just earlier, on about uh, he had to go out to the hill out of uh, Almsdale, and then we started filming coming up uh, this hill. It um, is obviously new, and Joe's got to cycle all the way up this after doing 800 miles. Bless him. Welcome to Great Ness. Here he is. 24. 24. 24. He's going to keep going now. 20! 20, 20 miles into your teens next! Thirteen, right turn. Last climb of the day. Last climb of the week.
three miles. miles. Three miles, dude. Last bit, last bit. We'll overtake one you and leave you now, dude. Nice one. Hey! Look, oh, let's go again. Let's do it. I've, let's have a game on video so I can take stills from this. Wow. Go for it. We'll see you at John O'Groats. Okie dokie. Here he is. There's the line, mate. So I bet you uh, had quite a few mixed emotions as uh, such a big journey of yours was coming to a close, didn't you? Yeah, it was quite anti-climax, really. Um, the last few miles, I was thinking about all the things that happened on the journey, but uh, I almost didn't want it to end. Uh, it crossed the finish line and uh, it was a strange emotion, really. Uh, I just wanted to carry on riding my bike, almost like riding home. But uh, that soon subsided. I had a, a few swigs of champagne uh, or cheap plonk, whichever way it was. Um, but uh, uh, about 20 minutes after uh, we arrived, a guy on a motorbike turned up and he just happened to be somebody that I knew uh, from the same area and uh, he'd done the same journey, set off before us on the same day and did it from, for the same charity and we'd beaten him and he was on a motorbike. and. Uh, neither of us knew about each other on this journey and it's just another one of those coincidences.